The exhalation flow sensor test. The exhalation flow sensor test is comprised of two stages. During the first stage, the exhalation flow sensor is calibrated against the internal inspiratory flow sensor. During the second stage, accuracy of calibration is verified at 30, 10, and 3 liters per minute. In the video, my test is going to fail due to a damaged expiratory diaphragm. To check the exhalation valve parts, open the exhalation flow sensor access door and the exhalation module access door on the left side of the breath delivery unit. Remove both assemblies by pulling outward on the exhalation valve port. Sometimes it just needs a little wiggle to remove it and pull it out. And remove the exhalation flow sensor from the expiratory valve assembly. This picture is an example of a dirty exhalation valve screen. This was caused by nebulized medication. It, the nebulized medication dried up and kind of cake, creating this residue, which um, reduces my laminar flow, which led to my device check not passing during the exhalation flow sensor test. I want to check for um, the components of my exhalation valve assembly. So what I need to do is I need to unscrew the top of it right here and open it up. And as I'm pointing out there's a little, little pin here to show you the alignment. And I'm just going to pull this straight out. It's nice and tight and snug and I'm going to remove the poppet assembly. Now I have a bad poppet assembly. Um, my diaphragm is kind of, um, there's kind of pits on it which created it to fail during my expiratory flow sensor test and I'm kind of pointing out the little pits on it. So I'm looking for wear and tear or cuts and tears on my diaphragm and everything else. I can replace these parts or what I'm going to do is, so I'm just showing an example of I'm going to screw it and I can replace these individual parts. So this is something I want to expect with my PM on each device. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace the whole poppet assembly. It makes it a lot easier. And I'm just going to push this down. And I'm going to reattach the lid. I want to line up the pin and just push it down in place. And go ahead and screw the cap back on. I'm just going to put the exhalation valve assembly back in and line it up. I'm going to point out where I line it up. And push it straight in and maybe give it a little wiggle. Now the access doors should freely close. They're just magnetically closes it, but they should never be forced. So if it takes a lot to close the door, I need to realign it. So as you notice, it just easily snaps back in place. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rerun the device check and it's going to pass since I replaced that part.